All right, hello everybody. I did realize last week's video, or I guess it's been a few weeks back, I forgot to actually post a, the layout. So this is the layout I've got tentative right now, um, and I've got a couple of things I have to figure out. As you can see, there's no power supply work going on here, uh, and you also, I've kind of got it cut off a little bit. You can kind of see one power tube here and some of the leads going to it, but that's not as important as just seeing this for the actual layout. But um, so effectively, I have here's what the layout's going to look like, but I have noticed already there's a couple of areas that I think are a bit problematic. One of them is like here, these are just so wide. This thing ends up being really long. You can kind of see compared to my hand, it's very big. So we're going to want to effectively probably try and collapse a little there and a little bit here, but you know, it's still going to be fairly large. But you know, that that's kind of what we've got. But the other thing I was playing with was trying to figure out how to lay out my bias board, because in the Dumble modded layout pictures that we have, there's no real any, any pictures of the doghouse, and that would have been likely where he made those changes. So we're going to assume it's similar to a, 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 um, a typical... Um, Marshall stack, which uses mostly 50 uh, microfarad capacitors across the board. It did have a double stacked uh, 100 microfarads often where they would be able to take the higher voltages. But this time I am making a little bit of a tweak. If you notice these, I've kind of got the typical kind of um, electrolytic capacitors. I'll show you what those mean in a minute. But I'm actually replacing all electrolytics. These included the bias board as well as the main power ones with a new type, or not new, but they're more commonly available. Um, large filter caps, I mentioned that I think in the first video. But I had to figure out how to lay them out. So first of all, I'm going to show you. these. these are, this is what they look like, and they're very big. And I think I mentioned also they have dual... Um, uh, prongs in each one, but those are just more for either stability on the board because of the size or maybe for additional capacity in the throughput, but they basically, you know, do the, do the needful uh, as you would, uh, will be able to see. But, but once you start realizing I'm going to be using five nodes, there's be plus one through five, that's a pretty big amount of these that are going to be sticking out on the board. So what I'm going to be doing, I have kind of taken the time to just draw them in a line and then I cut that in half because I want to see that's just really long as a power supply filter. So I'm going to instead try in some way to kind of cut them in half and then set them up like this. You can also see I did put my diodes on as well. But I will be making the boards here soon, and once I finish making these boards, I'll make this board and I'll cut this board to size. I'm going to just try to figure out which way I prefer and how to set these up, but it'll be something maybe like this, or it might be like this. I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out, but I'll, I'll figure that out, and uh, any suggestions are welcome. But effectively, you know, I'll have my, uh, a, my um, AC high voltage coming in here, get rectified, and then come over to this first node through the choke, and then the 2.2K resistor here. But then I have to possibly put another um, small eyelet here just to be able to kind of connect those two together. And then I will have to shoot that off to the next node somewhere. And I don't know the smart way to do that, if that's going to be to kind of put them end to end like this and just have all of my positive B plus rails through the middle here, or to flip it this way and just do a small jumper that connects from kind of here over to there. You know, I'm trying to figure that part out. But if anybody has suggestions about what makes the most sense, please do let me know. Um, but that's kind of the gist of where I'm at right now. Uh, so hopefully, I don't think I'll have a chance to get that this video, but in the next video, you'll see the board and I will start populating components. I will start building out these guys onto a board like that. Um, and then that that will be my power supply filtering for all the different B plus nodes, etc. cetera. So uh, we're making good progress. Uh, please follow along. Any, uh, any comments about what uh, you see as this may be problematic, please do let me know. Cheers, thanks.